Hello, it's Randy Rhodes. Here's a clip from our show and go to randyrhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast. Mary, how does it go? The fault. We believe that all men are created equal. To the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream. Change has come to America. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Rhodes Show. Turn up your mind. Of the Justice Department, and I was the U.S. Attorney in the Southern District of New York, and at one time I was Jim Comey's boss. Uh, I am very disappointed in what he just did. When he said he, he, no he, reasonable prosecutor would bring a case, you know, he worked for you, he knows the law. I think it's just the opposite. What? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> when will this we got a couple of surprises left. October surprises? You'll see. <laughs> and uh, and then I think he's got a surprise or two that you're going to hear about in the next two days. Right. I, I mean, I mean, I'm talking about some pretty big surprise. Oh yeah, I heard you say that this morning. What do you mean? You'll see. Stay tuned. 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 Rudy Giuliani, you're lucky because we got to go. I'm out of time. Otherwise, I keep pressing you. I'm out of time. Otherwise, I keep pressing you. I'm out of time. Otherwise, I keep pressing you. We're not going to. We're not going to. We're we're not going to go down, and we're certainly not going to stop fighting. We got a couple things up our sleeve that should turn this around. Rudy, anything about the October surprise? Any hints? No Slight hint. hint? No hints, but it'll be good. Yeah. What about the October surprise from the Trumps toward Hillary Clinton? When are you going to drop that? Well, well, there's still a couple of days left in October. Oh, really? Right. So, so, you, we'll so you might have see. something. We, we've got some stuff up our sleeve. The other well, rumor that I get is there's a kind of revolution going on inside the FBI about the original conclusion being completely unjustified and almost a, 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 a slap in the face of the FBI's integrity. And I know that from former agents. I know that even from a few active agents who Whoops. obviously don't want to identify themselves. Oh, no. So this has been boiling up in the God, FBI. Now, Mr. Mayor. Mayor. I did nothing to get it out. I had no, no, no role in it. Did I hear about it? You're darn right I heard about it. And in I can't even repeat the language that I heard. I just want to make sure make sure we, we're getting that right. We listened to the audio, and you were talking about current FBI agents, at least in that radio interview with Lars Larson. Well, the information I've been getting is from former FBI agents. So you misspoke I, I to got, Lars Larson. I, I, if I did, if I did say that, uh, that was wrong. I have not, I have not that spoken to a on-duty FBI agent about anything. I guess for the last 10 months, I don't know. I, I've, I've actually never talked about this investigation to any current member of the Justice Department huh. or current FBI agent. I don't know if I can make it any clearer right. than that. You can look at my right. telephone right. records if you want. I know that from former agents. I know that even from a few active agents there who you go. obviously don't want to identify themselves. I'm out of time. Otherwise, I keep pressing you. I'm out of time. Otherwise, I keep pressing you. I'm out of time. Otherwise, I keep pressing you. Creepy, eh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Giuliani, former U.S. attorney, New York mayor, whose former law firm represented, wait for it, the FBI Agents Association, uh huh, has inside sources at the bureau who might have given him a heads up about what was to come. And what was to come? Well, turns out that Anthony Weiner's laptop was in the possession of the New York Police Department, passed on to the New York Bureau of the FBI. And Eric Prince, oh yeah, Eric Prince, from Blackwater fame, whose sister Betsy DeVos is now our education secretary, Eric Prince was on uh, Breitbart. You know, I mean, obviously he's got a relationship with Steve Bannon. Um, and so he went on Steve Bannon's radio show and uh, told uh, told uh, Steve Bannon back, you know, before Bannon was the 
I don't know, national security advisor or assistant to the president or the last guy in the room to advise President Trump, uh, he was still doing his uh, damn radio show and the Mercer family had purchased Breitbart and uh, Bannon was in charge of Breitbart and doing his Sirius XM radio show and hosted Eric Prince. Now, Eric Prince, this audio sucks so hard that you could tell it's a Trump creation. Okay, that's, I mean, anything that's precision and pinpoint and like really accurate, like, I don't know, gas gassing people you know the russians did it because it's just done so meticulously well the clown car comes in when you start branding things trump like cover-ups so the audio is not great but this is um this is eric prince talking to steve bannon on steve bannon's radio or, or sirius xm show telling him about the NYPD has the computer and uh, they're so disgusted with what they're finding uh, that they're going to pass it on to uh, Comey and blah, blah, blah. Well, I'll play you the short version first. Eric, so much to break down in that, but you're saying the N NYPD, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is, is readying more warrants. Uh, they, they believe there'll be indictments coming down the pike very soon. Uh, let, let's let's recap. What are the key details that you're breaking here on Breitbart News Daily? NYPD was the first one to look at that laptop. Hillary, I'm sorry, Weiner and Huma Abedin, his wife, the closest advisor of Hillary Clinton for 20 years, have both flipped. Okay, they are cooperating with the government. Such they lot. both have. Um, they see potential jail time of many years for their crimes, for, uh, for whom Abedin sending uh, and receiving and even storing hundreds of thousands of, of messages from the State Department server and from Hillary Clinton's own homebrew server, which, which contain classified information. Um, Wiener faces uh, all kinds of exposure for the inappropriate texting that was going on and for other information they found. So. NYPD first gets that computer. They see how disgusting it is. They keep a copy of everything, and they pass a copy onto the FBI, which finally pushes the FBI off, um, you know, off their chairs, making Comey reopen that investigation, which was indicated in a letter last week. The point being, NYPD has all the information, and they will they will pursue justice within their rights um, if the FBI doesn't. And there is all kinds of criminal culpability through all the emails they've seen uh, of that 650,000, including money laundering, uh, underage sex, uh, um, pay for play, and of course, uh, you know, plenty of proof of inappropriate handling, sending, receiving, of classified information up to SAP level special access programs. Okay, none of that was true. Everything he said there was a lie. I mean, everything he said, but he said it right before the election. Here's what, what seems to have happened. Now, obviously, Giuliani knew that uh, the NYPD and the FBI and New York Bureau had Wiener's laptop. Uh, he also probably knew, I can't say that he knew this, but uh, the FBI and the New York Police Department did zero forensics on Anthony Weiner's computer. Zero. They passed it up to Comey uh, as a laptop uh, and said to Comey, you do the investigation. All we saw was that there were emails from Hillary Clinton on Anthony Weiner's computer. It turns out they didn't do any forensic on it. Uh, forensic uh, looks at it because somebody along the chain of custody put those emails onto Anthony Weiner's computer. This is what Comey probably knows now that somebody put those emails on Anthony Weiner's computer because those emails on Anthony Weiner's computer turned out to be duplicates of everything that was on Huma Abedin's personal computer. And no forensics had been done. And so Comey is now forced to write a letter to Congress saying, I have come into possession of a computer that has tons of email on it that seemed to be from Hillary Clinton. I need to do the forensics, but I wanted to let you know that we are looking into it. We are doing an investigation. That was the shot heard around the world just prior to the election. 
That was on October 28th, just 10 days before our election. This interview that uh, Eric Prince gives is three days later, November 4th, he's on with Bannon, telling Bannon the chain of custody of the damn computer, that it was first gotten by NYPD. NYPD was so disgusted, uh, he says, he he alleges that there's uh, all kinds of sex ring things and that there's all kinds of classified things and that uh, there's 650,000 email uh, that, you know, none of that was true. None of it was true. Everything that was on Anthony Weiner's was put on Anthony Weiner's. They were all duplicates. Nothing new. Nothing new at all. But it forced Comey to have to say, I am in possession of evidence that has email from Hillary Clinton on this laptop. I now have it. They gave it to me. I have to tell you about it. And that's why Comey wrote the letter. That's why Comey wrote the letter. Now, Giuliani obviously knew this because he's sitting on Fox and Friends and sitting with Martha McCallum laughing that Nosferatu, Nosferatu, uh, you know, a uh, vampire, you know, uh, 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 sick gig. You know, oh, I don't even know what to call it. It's like, it's like, it's like, uh, it's, it's just creepy uh, saying, you know, we got some things up. I said, we're going to change the game. You'll see, you'll see things are going to come out. Things are going to come out, which is always the chaos, the mark of the clown car and the chaos that it brings is they can't stop Tell, they can't stop telegraphing what they're doing. They just can't because they're all narcissists and they need to get the credit for everything that they do. Okay, so that's the story of Anthony Weiner and that's the story of Comey and why Comey wrote the letter. Now, Eric Prince. Hardly anybody talks about Eric Prince. But Eric Prince is in total communication with Steve Bannon through Steve Bannon's radio show and through Breitbart. And, uh, you know, uh, the, the Bannon, Eric Prince, Giuliani uh, cabal is, is like out there for everyone to see. Now, what's interesting is yesterday, as you know, the Washington Post discovered that Eric Prince had a meeting in the Indian Ocean in a little chain of islands called the Seychelles, which is just stunning, uh, with uh, that was put together by the Crown Prince of the United Arab Emirates in Abu Dhabi, a, fr- a very close uh, 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 Putin representative, and Eric Prince. And they all got together to discuss Russia's involvement in Syria Oh, yeah. And Russia's friendship with Iran. Why did the United Arab Emirates uh, decide that that was a good thing to do? Because the UAE sees Iran as an enemy. It's that Shia Sunni thing. And the UAE does just despises Iran. And they thought maybe there would be some comment. And, and they're not exactly thrilled, uh, you know, with the whole Syria situation. They uh, they know that Russia is behind it and Russia is propping up Assad. Russia is helping them, selling them weapons. Russia is doing a whole load of stuff. How does Eric Prince know anybody in the UAE? Well, after Hillary Clinton and the Justice Department under Obama prosecuted Blackwater contractors for things like manslaughter and running, uh, you know, brothels and other things, things that, uh, you know, they, they couldn't make stick. They could make the manslaughter stick, though. The Justice Department in 2007 actually prosecuted Nicholas Slatton of Sparta, Tennessee, Paul Slaw of Keller, Texas, Evan Liberty of Rochester, New Hampshire, Dustin Hurd of Maryville, Tennessee. All of them were found guilty by jury October 22nd, 2014, following a two and a half month trial for killing Iraqis randomly, just driving through the streets in, 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 their, in their cars, their Humvees, their vans, and just randomly shooting Iraqis for fun and sport. They were all Blackwater contractors. Slaw, Libby, and Hurd were each sentenced to prison terms of 30 years and one day. 
and Slatten, who was accused of firing the very first shots, was sentenced to life in prison. It was uh, Joyce, uh, Judge Royce Lamberth. Just remember that name. Hillary Clinton's State Department undertook an investigation of Blackwater as well for running brothels out of restaurants. You know, like Pizzagate with underage girls. Her State Department was looking at the contractors and how they were bragging that they owned girls and that they were trading them and that these contractors were going to this Chinese restaurant and the restaurant was really a front for a, a, a pedophile ring, okay? All, all the, this is why it's on their minds. So after all this happened, Eric Prince left the United States, sold Blackwater, and now lives in the United Arab Emirates, where he has a $529 million contract building a paramilitary force for the crown prince of the UAE to protect him and, uh, you know, his homes and his installations, whatever. See what I mean? Go to randyroads.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast.